A bold attack in downtown Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Thanks a lot for joining us here at 10. I'm Mike Darda. So a woman out mowing her lawn says that a man forced her into her garage, cut off her clothing with a knife and tried to rape her. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson is in Lawrenceburg, where she spoke with a neighbor who helped that young woman after the attack. Well, I spoke to several neighbors who say they still feel uneasy, even in their own home. They say they cannot believe this took place last Friday evening while it was still daylight here in Lawrenceburg. Now, in order to protect the victim, we're not identifying her neighbors or naming the street she lives on. The sounds of summer interrupted Friday evening by a noise that startled a few neighbors living on this typically quiet street in downtown Lawrenceburg. I heard somebody screaming from the sidewalk and my neighbor standing there with her bra only on screaming that there was an attempted rape. She said she was attacked at knife point in her own garage. The woman telling her neighbor she was out mowing her lawn when she noticed a strange man walking around the block making loops past her home. So she took her earbuds out and she said, I went to turn off the mower and he's looking at me and I said something like, what do you want? And she said he rushed toward me with the knife and pulled me in the garage. And at some point he actually had brandished and produced the knife and actually had cut her pants. Um, in an attempt to rape her. Court documents say the woman pushed him against the garage wall, jumped into her car, locked the door. And started blowing the horn and screaming. When she felt safe, she ran across the street where the neighbor called police. The conversation that we had was, clearly you did everything right, you're alive. And kudos to you for keeping your wits about you. The man, later identified as Sergio Chrysostomo, took off but didn't get far. He was arrested a short time later, walking on Hollywood Boulevard. You don't want to be unsafe in your home that you feel is a safe point. You don't want to feel that way. And he took that from her. And the suspect has been charged with attempted rape and battery with a deadly weapon. The prosecutor tells me he just moved to Dearborn County four days before this happened. In Lawrenceburg, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. And we've been checking court records so far. No bond has been set for that suspect.